Titus, also known as Titus, chapter 1. Shaul, a servant of Yahuwah and an emissary of Yahusha HaMashiach, according to the belief of Elohim's chosen ones, and knowledge of the truth according to reverence. In expectation of everlasting life, which Yahuwah, who does not lie, promised before times of old, but in its own times has manifested his word through preaching, with which I was entrusted according to the command of Yahuwah our Savior. To Titus, a genuine child, according to our common belief, favor, compassion, peace from Yahuwah the Father, and the Adan Yahusha HaMashiach our Savior. The reason I left you in Crete was that you should straighten out what was left undone, and appoint elders in every city as I command you. If anyone is unreprovable, the husband of one wife, having believing children, not accused of loose behavior or unruly. For an overseer has to be unreprovable as a managing one of Elohim, not self-pleasing, not raw, not given to wine, no brawler, not greedy for filthy gain. But kind to strangers, a lover of what is good, sensible, righteous, kodesh, self-controlled. Clinging to the trustworthy word according to the teaching in order to be able both to encourage by sound teaching and to reprove those who oppose it. For there are many unruly men, senseless talkers and deceivers, especially those of the circumcision, whose mouths have to be stopped, who upset entire households, teaching what they should not for the sake of filthy gain. One of them, a prophet of their own, said, Cretians are always liars, evil beasts, lazy gluons. This witness is true, therefore rebuke them sharply in order for them to be sound in the belief. Not paying attention to Yehudi fables and commands of men who turn from the truth. Indeed, all are clean to the clean, but to those who are defiled and unbelieving, none is clean but both their mind and conscience are defiled. They profess to know Elohim, but in works they deny him, being abominable and disobedient and unfit for any good work. 